always going to be in contention. You're always one of these players that we know is going to do well each week. But of course, it was getting to the point where you were doing really well and not quite closing out the victory. In Finland, it was the closest I've ever been to a win. I've been close before and I've been second uh, a lot of the time, but this, this time it felt like it could have been my turn. But it didn't uh, break my confidence because I did feel like I played well and I felt like I held it together well that round. Tell us about your victory in France and then what that really meant to you to, to get that breakthrough then after the after coming so close. It's great to win, obviously. It's, uh, it's what we're all trying to do every week. I have never thought that and I felt that uh, I have to win either. I, I haven't really wanted to put that pressure on myself, but it's, it's nice for everyone around me as well to see me win. Yeah, like the credibility as a player, I feel like that kind of, you get a bit more of that when you have won. And of course, that win shot you up the, uh, the rankings. Now with two events to go, that you've got a great chance of, of winning the race to Costa del Sol. How do you approach these last two weeks with that in mind? Obviously last year I finished third and I didn't really have a chance to win. But this year I do and uh, that's a new position to be in as well uh, for me. But I mean, I feel like I'm playing all right and I just have to do what I do. And then it, there's other like hungry players uh, <laughs> close to the top. I know that and they're in good form as well. So I think it'll be a close one for sure.